we are a prison that houses just over 4,000 guys. About 1,400 of those individuals are sentenced to an indeterminate life sentence, meaning that they do have the opportunity to work their way out of prison. Here at San Quentin, we were ahead of the curve in believing that men could be reformed. Titan gives me a tour of the facility. He shows me these control panels, and you have a machinist that's at each one of these control panels, and you can just see these tooling just doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And then I can see the actual completed part and a parts rack right next to it. I'm looking at the contrast between San Quentin and what I'm seeing in technology on the floor, which worried me. It's not good for the students to put them through a program, have them spend a lot of time on machinery, and have them go out into the community and say, you are a machinist. Well, what I saw on Titan's floor, they're not a machinist. They weren't a machinist for the 21st century. I need Titan to help me. He was a guy who had an experience like the guys who are behind me right now. Most guys who have that type of experience, not only is it surreal, no one ever wants to come back. I feel like for the first time, what I did in the past can now be used for good. I take this as the biggest opportunity that has ever come into my life. CNC machining saved my life. It gave me purpose. And because I got a second chance, I look at these men and all I wanna do is help them get the same second chance that I did. And as I step up on this stage to talk to these men, I know that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. I know what it is to be in a lockdown cell by yourself for six months, to know that your entire life is done. Like I understand. We have to create a program to make you valuable to an employer so you can walk out and get a good paying job. That's what it's about. Yeah. Now we're at a point where we need to build a core student base for this program. It was hard to even select 12 with our goal of getting uh, six out of the 12. So you said you sent in a letter and you made the, I guess the first cut you'd call first it, cut. right? Yeah. First cut, yeah. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a test. It's basic math. And he shared with the entire population, yeah. we're gonna pick six guys that are gonna get this started. And I told myself I need to be one of those six. Ready? Yeah, set. I want people to look at me and say, this is somebody who has made mistakes, but can become a better person as a result of the flaws. No, I'm trustworthy. You have a uh, family, kids? Oh, I don't have kids, um, but I have family. Um, up to like 20 years, lost contact with them, so. Okay. The general public sees inmates as we're menaces, but I'm living proof and I'm here to tell who's ever watching that. My crime was murder, but that's not who I am as a man. You have 12 people fighting for their future. Which six do I say, I'm sorry, your future's not now? I brought this red tape, and I literally just want to walk through this place. I just want to put an X on every machine that I want to take out of here. Right here. Okay. He showed me what he was wanting to see out of this machine shop and build a new one, build new walls. That one's gone. 
gone, gone. This one stays. But that's, I guess, kind of phase one. We've got the director on board, we got the superintendent on board, we saw the wardens on board, yeah. the principal here is on board. Yeah. So we're ready to get started. It has all come to this point in time. 12 guys coming in, each one wants it badly, and they are fighting for their lives. I walked into the greatest opportunity of my life. I dedicated myself to that job. They put me on the CNC machines and I could see the motors and the axes and everything running and I was fascinated. I could see the computer and the code running and I was fascinated. And then the machine, I learned how to run it. I, I learned how to make it hum. I learned how to make it go faster. And as I created art and dropped the times and made the company money, the owner of the company would give me more money. It just made sense. I started thinking to myself, I'm doing good in life. I want to become a better man. I started going to church just so I could get around normal people. And as soon as I started stepping on that positive, as soon as I started dedicating my Sundays, as soon as I started like thinking, and, and just working hard and just making it happen, my entire life started to change. I can't choose, man. Everybody is in the program, guys. Yeah! Congratulations. Yeah. Really good. Thank you. All right. All right. Oh. Well, I was thinking, well, I'm, I'm not going to make it. So when he did that, it, it was, it was, uh... For me, it was a... The being in this crap... I felt like I was worth something. I felt like, uh... It was like the best thing that could happen. Right on, brother. Oh. I was like stuck. I was like, whoa, I wasn't expecting it. That was one of the best feelings I had in a long time, you know? So, to have Ty and say that, oh, you guys are all in the class. You guys are all gonna learn. Hope is the right word. When I saw the expressions of others and how real this was, I just started laughing and, 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 and I just felt completely excited, filled with joy. What a great day at San Quentin. He's picking up all 12. I knew we made the right decision. This is huge. It's about giving these guys a second chance in life. At that moment, I knew my life was gonna change for the better. You know, Titan was giving me a chance at life. He was giving me a chance to learn how to persevere as a man. He was, learn he was teaching me how to, no matter what your journey is, not to give up. I mean, what he's done, what he's doing, I never even thought I'd end up at San Quentin, let alone there'd be something as badass as this. The excitement from officially being deemed a Titan 12, you know, it hasn't worn off a bit. We thought it just six of us were gonna make it, so I was a little stressed out over that. I'm excited because they're great guys. I was very happy to be uh, selected to be part of the chosen few individuals to get this program revamped and uh, be part of the demolition crew to actually move the old machinery out and be here to witness the new stuff come in. Old right now. <laughs> All the new machines coming here, and all these machines move away, you know, it's a lot of work. But I mean, be part of this coup. To me, it's like getting rid of the old and bringing in a whole new frame of mind. Let's get a pallet underneath it. It's hard to describe the feeling. But I'm excited about it. <laughs> shed light on something that's important that employs Americans, what American manufacturing. The future outlook of what's going on is amazing. But this, this is like a preseason beer. 
some of these guys that got no skills at all, you know, it's something that they could build on. If you ain't got no program and stuff, you just stuck on the yard. You don't want to do that. You know I mean, that's hard time is just stuck on the yard. The next phase of it, demo that, demo this. There's a lot of hauling out of here with all that metal in there. You know, these here, that big mill over there is going to be tough. It's so exciting, it's happening right here at San Quentin Prison. The fact that he's changed his life and he's had an opportunity to be successful in life, and it's, it's every step of the way, from a shop in prison to a community, back to their houses, the way that they raise their children, the way that they interact with their family. A lot of people, they see us as lost cause, and he's a classic example of the fact that that's not true. You know, and, and I can look at that as, a, as an example of what I can be. We shouldn't have all these prisons and not have something like this in every prison. He's not re just reshaping a shop. I mean, he's reshaping men. You, you might see us being portrayed as, 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 as the worst mistake that we've ever made. We should pay for those crimes, but also know that we're so much more than what the daily news or the nightly news depicts us as. You know, I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I got a lot to offer. And I know that. I know my self-worth now. For 20 years, I haven't seen this type of hope. Looking back and understanding how the traumas in my life eventually shut me down to the reality of my, my father being an alcoholic who abused my mother, to the pain of just being left by my stepdad, to... <sighs> the change doesn't start when I get out. It starts now. And the things that I am doing in here to serve others, that's who I am. That's where I find meaning. That's where I give Dominic meaning. That's where I give my crime meaning. When I do get out of prison, I know I want to give back like Titan's giving back to this community. And I feel that Titan's motivation is, is from his heart and he wants to give back because he can relate to what I've gone through. He can relate to what it feels like to be away from your family when, you know, times when people die and you're not there for your family and you feel like a, a loser. And I know that he can relate to that because I've had to feel those feelings. And when I could talk to somebody who's walked in my shoes and not judge me, it means a lot. Although you guys have made mistakes, although I made mistakes, you know what I mean? We're, get, we're giving you the skills to go out and have a roadmap to success. And it's going to be hard. Yeah. And you're going to fail and you're going to... I feel honored. I feel, um, I feel like this is a big gift. And uh, that's kind of... Uh, something that I, I, I'll carry around for the rest of my life. <laughs> guys ready for it? Four screws, we gotta go, four screws gotta go. You know, I just do what I do. I enjoy doing what I do. And uh, hopefully my time in the prison system uh, has helped some people. I know it's helped me. It's, it's, been a, it's been a good adventure. I seen my son for the first time in, since 2000, since Christmas of 2012, on Father's Day this year. And what better present for me to give him than a father that is changed? When I first walked into this facility, there was machines just stacked everywhere and nothing in use. The vision that I had at that point is now becoming a reality. We took out all the old machines, all the old equipment is gone. Got rid of the welding room. We tore down the office. We put up new walls. We ran electrical, we ran air, we painted the walls. Painted the floor just where the CNC machines were going. 
The old is gone. The new, the fresh, the bright is here. This place is looking amazing. And now it's time to bring in our new CNC machines. Did you see it? Perfect. Done. You know, the machine shop was full of relics, and now it's full of brand new shiny toys. <laughs> The cool thing about the simulator is you can like test everything right here, make sure everything works, and it'll tell you like you have a problem, you know what I mean? So you can run through, check everything out. Why would you say 69 and no? Why would you know that it was 69 and a quarter? We need perfection. Today I have five kids. I got Tyson, I got Chris, I got Titan, I got Nathaniel, and I got Gabrielle. I have a beautiful wife, I have a family. It's all worked out, but believe me, it was tough. And without this trade and manufacturing and people that believed in me and my faith in the Lord, there's no way that I could get there. There's no way that I would be able to be where I'm at. You're on the outside and, and guys are like stepping on that flag. They're burning that flag. You know what I mean? You come in here to a prison where men are incarcerated and they're making that border perfect. They're measuring that flag perfect. And they're taking more pride in that flag than what I see when you turn on TV. This country was built on manufacturing. We need to teach our youth, we need to teach our workers, we need to lift up the entire industry, but we also need to teach the prisons and the inner cities and, and everyone about manufacturing. Hey, Butchie, make sure you get a good stretch on it, huh? You bring jobs back, crime goes down, and many problems in our society, everything has a way of getting better. When your people are successful, they're happy, and they have hope. That's what manufacturing does. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> right on, man.